Welcome to a special Last Three Brain Cells podcast here. I'm Sandy Termine here, blogger of Around the OA, host of OA Now, and also the, um, of course, now one of the hosts of Last Three Brain Cells here. Of course, my um, co-host, Ian Weatherspoon, will be calling in around five, will be calling in in a little bit. We're going to talk, we're going to get his thoughts heading into the season coming up. Um, we're going to preview the NFL season starting off. Of course, we're going to be starting off the year um, coming up. We're going to preview the AFC. Also, we'll preview the MC, um, who I think could be makes noise this year coming up this season. A lot of people look at the NFL season and say, okay, um, you know, last season, I know we had a lot of teams that, a lot of changes off season. Obviously, when you look at the storylines here up the season, um, obviously, you know, I'm curious to see how these divisions are going to look, especially when you look at the MC, obviously, with, um, you know, in the NFC, obviously, Philadelphia making the um, Super Bowl last year. I think Philadelphia got better. Um, <laughs> honestly, I'm curious to see how the division is going to look, especially NFC East with, with, the, um, with the Eagles likely being the favorite in that division. Um, Dallas could be a team to really watch for. Um, of course, in the NFC North, people are going to talk about I think that I think the NFC North could be loaded this year. I mean, like, obviously, you got the Detroit Lions. Um, one eight of the last ten. Um, Jared Goff, I think is, I think nobody's given that man a lot of respect. Um, as long as Jared Goff is a great game manager, that team's gonna be fine. I mean, obviously, when you look at the Detroit Lions, I mean, it starts and ends with um, with Jared Goff. Um, obviously with the Detroit Lions, we're gonna go over that. Also, we're gonna get Ian. Ian's takes when he um, calls in here. Um, when you look at, of course, the NFC South, people look at that division. That might be the weakest division out of them all um, because you don't know who's going to win that division because you look at, of course, the Atlanta Falcons. Um, I like what the moves they made. The draft of Bichon, uh, Bichon Robinson. Um, I really like their... Um, you know, I'm curious to see how their quarterback situation is going to look. I mean, that's the big question. With Atlanta, I mean, they got a tight end in Kyle Pitts, who I think is going to have a breakout year. Um, but the question is going to be, who's going to be that quarterback? I mean, like, you know, people look at that. That's the situation I have there. Um, Carolina, we know um, they had the number one pick in the draft. And, um, so, I mean, like, but when you look at the storylines, and then, of course, I think Seattle's a team to really watch for. I mean, obviously, what the, what the Seahawks have done. So, you know, when you look at the situation, how it's unfolded, um, obviously with, um, obviously with the, um, with the, um, and then of course, when you look at the AFC side of things, you got Jacksonville, who I'm really high on, of course, um, you know, they got a very good quarterback, um, they got a good running back, um, also when you look at the, um, when you look at, of course, the um, Tennessee Titans, obviously with the um, big time addition of, um, with the big time addition, you know, of DeAndre Hopkins, I'm very curious to see how Tennessee does because when you look at Tennessee, they have a veteran quarterback in Ryan Tannehill. You got Derrick Henry at running back, and now you add DeAndre Hopkins. I mean, that's a three headed monster over there at Tennessee. What they have, and that division. I mean, other than Jacksonville, and I think Jacksonville is going to be a good team this year. I mean, I like what the Jaguars have done. I mean, they were a playoff team a year ago. Um, I mean, obviously, Trevor Lawrence at quarterback. Um, you got Enzyme at running back. I mean, I really like what what Tennessee did this offseason. Now, offensive line-wise, that could be a question mark. So when you really look at that division, Indianapolis, they got a quarterback in Anthony Richardson. I haven't liked how Anthony Richardson did this preseason. Um, so that's got me a little worried when you look at um when you look at the Indianapolis Colts. I mean, like, um I, I, I that's a team I'm really worried for. And then you have the Jonathan Taylor situation, you know, where he's demanding a trade. I mean, it's kinda hard if you're doing fantasy football. You know, I want to take a risk on Jonathan Taylor because 
you don't know what his situation is. He's coming off an injury. Now he got his contract situation. So that's going to be some issues that I have with Indianapolis. And, and then, of course, you have Houston. Obviously, C.J. Stroud. Um, that could be a very long year for Houston. I think it could be a long year for them. Now, C.J. Stroud was named the starting quarterback. That's not a surprise. Obviously, working at Ohio State, you know what he's done as a Buckeye. People are going to look at his record against Michigan and say, okay, um, he didn't beat Michigan, but, you know, look at the path that he's been through. So when you really look at it, um, you got to look at with C.J. Stroud, you know, and then you got to look at, obviously, but you got to look at what Houston did with the NFL draft. I mean, Houston really did was they made a ton of noise. I mean, obviously getting the best defensive line player to draft, the best one of the best offensive players in the draft. I mean, like you really look at, of course, um, with Houston, they're they're building for the future. When you look at teams like Jacksonville, who was there for the building the now. So when you really look at the NFC AFC South, I mean, when you're looking at that division, you got to look at, of course, the um. You got to look at, of course, I think that division is going to come down to Jacksonville or Tennessee. I mean, Tennessee, you know, has got a veteran team. They didn't make the playoffs a year ago, but still, when you have three proven playmakers in that lineup, and Ryan Tannehill, all he's got to do is throw the ball to DeAndre Hopkins. I mean, but they also got some other playmakers as well. So there's some question marks when you look at Houston, and I think that's the team to really keep an eye on is – Tennessee is going to probably be the team to really watch for in the NFC, um, in the NFC South. And that's the team I watch for. But I think right now, if I had to say something in the South, I think Jacksonville is the team to really watch for because of who they got back, playoff team last year. I like what their ownership has done. Of course, um, the Khan family, obviously, of course, you look at obviously, you know, the son, Tony Khan owns AEW, All Elite Wrestling. Um, they've done a really good job with that franchise, with Trevor Lawrence there. I mean, it's just building that winner, just keeping that momentum going for the playoffs. So, when I look at the SC South, I can't trust Indianapolis. Houston, Houston's going to be very young. They're going to be a rebuilding project. Um, so, I think that division's going to come down to either Jacksonville, or Tennessee, because when you and then when you look at it from a fantasy perspective, I don't trust Anthony Richardson one bit. If you want to take a gamble on Richardson, that's fine, but I don't trust Anthony Richardson one bit. I mean, I didn't like how he played in the preseason. I didn't like how he he didn't look good in the pre. I mean, he he just did not look good. I mean, I've got some serious concerns. When you look at the Colts, I mean, like, there's some big-time concerns. Just some big-time concerns. So, but then with Tennessee, you got to wonder with age. You got to wonder with age. I mean, that's a big question I have with the Titans. Is age also, can Henry bounce back after a rough year? If he bounces back after a rough year, then I think Tennessee could threaten Jacksonville in the, in the AFC South. They could do it. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, let's go now to the um, AFC West. I mean, obviously with Denver, the moves they made with Sean Payton as the new head coach. Um, I think with Denver, um, you know, I'm curious to see how the Broncos do. Can Sean Wilson or Sean Payton improve Watson Wilson? That's the big question I have is if he can improve Russell Wilson or get him back to when he was at Seattle, Denver's got something here. But Denver wasted so much draft capital that I've got some concerns with Denver because, yes, they got a good defense. The problem last year was Russell Wilson. I mean, running game's a question mark for me with Denver this year. It really is. Then people say, "Can is Denver the second best team in that division? Because you know Kansas City's the top team in the AFC West. 
because of what they got. Kelsey, because of Travis Kelsey, Patrick Mahomes. Running game does scare me a little bit with Kansas City, but also, but they have Patrick Mahomes, so he can throw the ball. He, he, can, he can throw the ball all over the place. I mean, that game week one with Jet, with Detroit is going to be very interesting for Kansas City. So when you want to look at it here, um, but with Den back to Denver, I, 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 there's some concerns. Just some serious concerns with the Broncos. Some serious, serious concerns with Denver. I mean, but when I look at the AFC West, I can't trust Vegas. I, I can't trust Vegas. I can't trust the Raiders. I mean, and I think that the reason why is the Patriot way. Jimmy Garoppolo, a quarterback. Josh McDaniels, head coach. This is like a modified version of New England Patriots. We just had this in Detroit. We had this in the with, where the Patriot way doesn't work. Matt Patricia was the coach. Bob Quinn was the general manager. Look what happened. Got fired. Got canned. Um, so what makes me think that I can trust the Patriot way working in Las Vegas? I can't. I can't, and I know my partner here in, you know, when he calls in, he's going to think the same way. As you can't trust Vegas. Now, a team I'm high on, I'm excited about, is the Las Vegas Char- is the um is the Los Angeles Chargers. Justin Herbert could be on the verge of a breakout here. He could be. So when we look at the situation, how that is, that could be really interesting. That could be really interesting. So that's the big question I have. Is when you look at Vegas. Is that's the big question. It really is. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, we will see how it goes. Um clearly. So we'll go from there. I apologize for those who um who um didn't watch us on the TV side. Now we got the TV side back here. Um Again, for the TV side, welcome to Last Week Brain Cells. Of course, I'm Sammy Tamina here. Ian Weatherspoon will be joining us shortly here. Um, be calling in. But we talked a little bit about the divisions. I broke down the AFC South already. Um, obviously, um, you know, when you look at the AFC South, obviously you got Jacksonville, you got Tennessee. Some teams are really high on there. Um, and then you look at, of course, the, um, the AFC West. I mean, we were just breaking that down. Um, Kansas City, obviously, is going to be the team that is going to be the favorite. Um, but also a team to really keep an eye on. I'm high on, and I'm not sure my partner in crime even what this one's going to think about, but it's going to be the Los Angeles Chargers. It's got to be the Chargers, obviously, what they got. Um, and I think that's something to really, really keep a close eye on is can the Chargers... Find a way, you know, obviously with Justin Herbert, can they overcome it? That's a big question. So that's the question I have with the Chargers. And with Denver, obviously with Sean Payton there, can he find a way to get Russ and Wilson back on track? That's the big question I have because I don't think anybody in that division is touching Kansas City. So that's the big question I have is can they Find a way. That's a big question. So, my thoughts on the West. Um, I think the Chargers are a little bit better than the Broncos. But, you know, nobody's touching KC. But, it's, I think that second and third place in the, de- in the division is going to come down to his can. You know, that is going to be a division to watch for. I mean, I'm curious to see how that happens. Um, let's go now from the NFC, AFC West. We already talked the AFC South. Um, obviously, I mean, with Jacksonville, with Tennessee, I don't trust Indy one bit with Anthony Rich in the quarterback. 
Houston with C.J. Stroud at quarterback. Um, I think Houston's got a lot more upside. So that's something to really watch for. Um, let's go to the um, AFC East. This division could be a Rose Fest. And I think the reason why I call this a Rose Fest is because there's several reasons why. Because the early favorite in this division has to be the Buffalo Bills. And I think the reason why the Bills, obviously, Josh Allen. I think they've straightened their running back situation figured out. They got receivers, obviously. You got Stephon Diggs there. Um, you got Gabe Davis there. Um, the Buffalo Bills, from a fantasy perspective, you better be excited for. Because I think the Buffalo Bills could be a team that, they're a scary team. They can be. So, that's what I'm looking at with Buffalo. And you look at, of course, the changes that the Jets made. We call this the New York Packers. Why would you call this team the New York Packers? Because this team has got some interesting dynamics. Because when you look at the Jets, they basically got Lazard. You basically got Aaron Rodgers. You basically revamped your whole offense around the Green Bay Packers of last year. You basically did that. And you're in a division where people have already given you expectations, say, the AFC East. You know, they can be a division where I think if Green Bay can, um, if Green Bay can figure it out, actually, if New York can figure it out, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So, we'll see how it goes. Really well. Um, so, when you look at Green Bay, um, I think Green Bay could be a team to really watch for. I mean, Green Bay could be a team that I, and I'm sorry, I think the Jets could be a team that could be a watch, that could be watched. You know what I mean? I think Green, jeez, why am I thinking of Green Bay when I'm thinking of New York? Why am I thinking that? I don't know. Um, Obviously, when you look at this division, you got the Buffalo Bills, who's going to be the favorite. I have the New England Patriots projected to finish last. There's a couple reasons why I had the Patriots projected last. And I think the Patriots... I just think, I, I can't trust the quarterback situation. I mean, Mac Jones, the quarterback, that's got doom and gloom written all over it. Last year, you kind of felt like there was some chemistry issues between him and Bill Belichick. There were some issues. <laughs> and... It's clear as day that there was some serious issues when you look at the Jets. I know when you look at the Patriots. There's some question marks this year with New England. There really is. So that's something to really, really watch for. Is there's a lot of question marks. Um, the Jets, I, I can't trust New York. Yes, they got a great defense. I love it. I love their defense. Offense is a big issue. Offensively, this team's got some issues. Big issues. When you look at, of course, Buffalo, their defense is decent. I mean, I mean yeah, their defense, you know what I mean? People look at the defense. Their defense was good last year. But I, can, they make, can they repeat what happened last year? I don't know. I mean, there's some questions. But what else is you have a high-octane offense like they do with Josh Allen? We'll see what happens. Well, Miami. Tua's injury hurt them last year. They don't have a Bravo backup. Um, but Tua, I think, is going to have a good year. I mean, you got the Cheetah. You got Terry Kill at wide receiver. Running game should be solid. I mean, 
I think Miami can make, can be a team to make the next step. I think Miami can be a team that could be really dangerous. So that's a team I'm really high on is Miami. So when I look at this division, yeah, Buffalo's the favorite. I mean, yeah, the Jets could be a team to watch. I mean, Miami's got questions, but I think Tua's going to be motivated to have a bounce back here. Um, New England, I got questions. And then I've got some questions when I look at the, um, when I look at the, um, you know, obviously with Buffalo, you know, they performed magnificently. So when you look at Buffalo, I think Buffalo could be a team to really keep an eye on going forward. And I think the team to really keep an eye on is Miami. Miami's the one that I'm really keeping a close eye on. Because Miami's the one that I think could really do some damage this year. And then let's go to the AFC North. This is one of my favorite divisions is the AFC North. Because you know I love my Ravens. I love my Baltimore Ravens. Because the Ravens, Lamar Jackson's back. Running games situated with Jake with, with Dobbins. You got ODB at wide receiver. Odell Beckham. Um, you got Mark Andrews at tight end. I mean, and your defense. You know, your defense is going to be all right this year. I mean, for Baltimore, I think seeing that pregame, preseason winning streak snap, that's going to put an edge to them this season. Now, people are going to say, well, you have Baltimore favored. Yeah, I have Baltimore favored. But I think Pittsburgh's better. I think Cincinnati's going to be a threat. There's no doubt about that. Cincinnati, obviously, they're going to be solid. I mean, Cincinnati, I mean, I like what Cincinnati's done. I mean, yeah, they went to the Super Bowl two years ago. But you know that rivalry between Cincinnati and Kansas City, Joe Burrow, Patrick Mahomes, you know, that's going to be there this year. That could be a marquee. And that's got me excited. I think Pittsburgh, with Kenny Pickett, a quarterback, Pittsburgh's going to be better. Their defense has always been solid. Will Coaching or Mark, Mike Tomlin. Cleveland's got some question marks this year. Yes, Deshaun Watson's back. They got Nick Chubb at running back. Um, I think David Nwachu at tight end. Um, I think it's going to come down to is can... I think it's going to come down to is can Cleveland... I think Cleveland can... Um, I think Cleveland can... Um, I think they're going to do well here. Got Ian Weatherspoon here calling here. Um, we'll see how he is here. So let's see if Ian Weatherspoon answers us here. So I'm just so let's see how he's doing. So far it's ringing. So we'll see how it is. But hello, Weatherspoon residents. Hey, buddy, how are you, Ian? We're just talking AFC, um, AFC North, buddy. How are you? Oh, good. How you doing? Oh, I'm hanging in there. You know, just you know, hanging in there. So. We're gonna. I want to get your thoughts on the AFC before we um, finish talking AFC North here. So, Ian, we're gonna talk AFC South here. Obviously, Jacksonville, Tennessee are my two teams I'm high on this year. Um, the Titans? Yeah, you got some veterans on that team. Who? You got some veterans. Tennessee does. Yeah, they're all old, man. <laughs> what do you mean they're all old? They're all old and their knees don't work. What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean, Spoon? You think Derrick Henry's gonna be the same Derrick Henry he's always been? Sure. Do you think so? Why? Oh, I think he's old. It's hard for a running back, especially him. He's taking a pound in. You think DeAndre Hopkins? I think he has a has a bounce back year. I mean, maybe, but you know, look at last year. Tannehill went down, and the whole thing went to the gutter. Yeah, I hear you. So when you look at this, when you look at this division though, AFC South, I don't trust Anthony Richardson one bit, but because you don't know the Jonathan Taylor's, 
The Jonathan Taylor situation, you know that contract situation's an issue. Right. And then you have Houston with C.J. Stroud, Adam Quarterback, and, you know, and he's got a young, a young nucleus. So, you know, so you still think this, the, the AFC South is going to run through Jacksonville and the Khan family? I do, I do. I think if Jacksonville does not win the division, that is a huge disappointment for the city of Jacksonville. Yeah, and I hear you. You think that is? I think a sneaky team in that division, though, could be the Texans. Why? Give me, give me one reason why you think the Texans could be a team that sneaks up. Is it because of C.J. Stroud? Uh, I, I have a hard time believing in a rookie quarterback, but I feel like they've loaded up on talent, and with a new coach, they have a new regime, a new air, a new, new, new identity. You know, it could, uh, it could spark some things. So. I, I'm sure they will be bad, but I would not be completely surprised if they finished around eight or uh, 500, eight, nine wins. Wouldn't surprise me anyway. Um, let's go from the AFC South to the N- to the AFC um, West. I mean, like, obviously, the big story I was thinking about was Denver and L.A. Obviously, the Chargers could be a team that, you know, could be on the verge of a breakout year. Denver... Yes, they got Sean Payton. They gave up so much draft capital. Can he rebound with Russell Wilson? It's tough. I go back and forth in my mind about this one. I feel like if there's anyone that can get them and Russell back to a contending team, it would be Sean Payton would be one of them. But I don't know. You're hearing light rumblings about him uh, and his maniacal ways. So, I don't know. Are you are you adding a bit of crazy with already a bit of crazy? And are you going to get just more crazy? Or is it going to balance the scales? I don't know. I mean, that's, that's a tough read for me. That's a big read. I mean, it's a tough read for anybody. Because you look at that division, you got Kansas City in there. And there's a team I'm really high on this year. It's the Los Angeles Chargers. When you look at, of course, with Justin Herbert at quarterback, you know, do you feel like the Chargers organization, you know, are, is it the one that, can this be the year that they finally break through? It's tough because being a Detroiter, we have a little saying called same old Lions, where the Lions can never get out of their own way. And we're hoping this year's different. In the AFC, it's a couple other teams. Chargers, Browns, Jets are all kind of like the Lions, but Chargers are up there in ineptitude. They have a lot of talent, but they can never put it together. No. And I... 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 It's tough. I don't want to keep saying the Chiefs, the Chiefs, the Chiefs. But in that division, until proven otherwise, in the playoffs especially, because the Chargers have beat the Chiefs uh, in the regular season, it's still, it's still that everything runs through the middle of the country in Arrowhead. Yes, and, and I, I don't know. I have, a, I have a hard time with the Chargers, but they have Herbert. So mm-hmm. that type of talent with the new coordinator, they should, they should be able to get to ten wins. They should, they should. Now how does that shake out in the division, though? How many other Chiefs going to get? Yeah, I mean. I think Kansas City maybe at least twelve, maybe thirteen for sure wins. So we'll see. I mean well, that game with let's Detroit. Talk about the Chiefs real quick. Yeah, let's talk about the Chiefs real quick. What do you think of their receiving core? I don't think it's as good as it was last year, but with Mahomes, Mahomes makes up for a lot of the issues. He really does. Is, is there any way? A team is going to find the blueprint to beat Mahomes and Kelsey, and then obviously the rest of the league will copy, and they'll have a down year. Well, there is a way, but the question's going to be is, is you got to have your linebacking core's got to be, you know, you got to have a spy on Kelsey. If you do, then you can expose Mahomes. So it that- seems like. It seems like they don't have a lot of weapons. No. And 
Not that Mahomes needs people to be – not that he needs Tyreek Hill and, you know, Kelsey and, you know, Saquon Barkley or something. But uh, that might – it's a long season. And if he's running for his life and he doesn't have an outlet or a run game to turn to, could be trouble. Yes, I agree with you. And then let's go from the west to the east. This division is going to be absolutely nuts because you got the New York, the New York Packers, I call it. Then you have the Buffalo Bills, the Miami Dolphins, and then the New England Patriots. I don't trust the Patriots one bit with Mac Jones at quarterback. I don't trust them. No. You can't. You know they haven't really shown me anything. I feel similar, but about the Dolphins. I have Miami in the playoffs this year. And Tua. What's that? You had him in the playoffs? I have Miami in the playoffs this year. Should they make the playoffs? Yes. Will they? I don't know because to me, to me, the AFC East is the AFC fakes, the AFC phonies. (laughs) Do you trust? I don't trust. I I, I don't trust the Jets one bit. I don't trust the Jets one bit. I don't trust the Bills one bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why don't you trust Buffalo? Because when when are they going to cross the hump? When are they going to beat somebody in the playoffs? They had Cincinnati at their at their house, in their home. In the snow. In the snow. It was a perfect Buffalo day. And they 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 blew chunks all over. <laughs> oh my they, goodness. They, they failed. It's miserable, and I'm uh, I'm growing concerned. You should Especially be. Especially when you have your star receiver. There's noise about him. I just don't like when there's not when guys panic a little bit. They seem to be in in some form of panic mode. Except I didn't get a running back. Yeah, maybe, maybe James Cook will be good, but they need to run the ball. I agree they with you. Don't. They need to run the ball. They need balance. They need they balance. Do. And I, I don't know. I, I, call me crazy. I feel like this might be the Patriots division again. This what? Yeah. No. Call me nuts. Call me nuts. You no, no, no. I don't want to say it, but it's it's what my gut is telling me. Why are you saying I could be way off. this? I could be way off, but. Because there's just so much drama from everywhere else. And where did you not hear a peep from this offseason? Unless I missed it. I didn't hear anything out of Foxborough. Nope. They brought back Bill O'Brien, who gets along just fine with uh, Bill Belichick, which is an issue. They got the defensive guy. They took. They shipped him out of town. But more importantly, they got him off the playbook and off the mic. So I think Mac Jones, in, a, in his third year, with a real offensive dude could have a bounce back year. And you mix that with the Patriots defense and let Bill Belichick do his thing. That's trouble. I can see him owning the division. And when you own your division, <laughs> no, you own your division. No. If you win the division. No. All right. Let's go to the AFC North. I mean, like I, I'm not trusting that. I'm not trusting that one bit. Um, AFC North. This would be a fun division. Cincinnati, Baltimore, Pittsburgh. I don't trust Cleveland one bit. I don't trust the fighting Mizzes or Pittsburgh with the um, fighting Britt Bakers. But <laughs> or but Baltimore, I'm excited for Baltimore. I mean, I'm excited for Baltimore because I think the Ravens could be a really good team this year. I, I agree with you. The Lamar Jackson talk ended early in the offseason, relatively. Yep. And they've been focused on football for three plus months. So Yeah. That and you know, they're gonna have good O line play, they're gonna be good on D and you know, roll the ball out and see what happens. Yep. Cincinnati I think that's the toughest division in the in the sport though. I agree. Cincinnati I think's gonna be solid. Um Pittsburgh we know is gonna be good. Cleveland I just don't trust. Um, you know, where do you see where do you see Cleveland's record at this year at the end of the year? I see Cleveland probably around six wins this year. Oh man! Yeah. Oh boy! So yeah. you don't think Deshaun Watson has it in him? No. No. 
<laughs> no, you no, are no. not a Deshaun Watson believer. No, I am not a Deshaun Watson believer. If I had to take him in the fantasy draft this year, it'll be hard for me to t- hard for me to take. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I don't, I don't believe him. I, I could see them starting hot, mm-hmm. five and one, something real, real good like that. But I don't know. I, yeah. I can't see them, them challenging the big dogs of that division. No, no. And obviously, you look at that division. Um, you think when they look at the best teams in the AFC, obviously Kansas City's the best team in that division. Cincinnati, I think, is a clear two. Buffalo maybe at three, Jacksonville four. You think those are the four top teams? Do you see uh, Cincinnati taking a step back at all? I do not see Cincinnati taking a step back. No, I don't. But Baltimore, Baltimore. I think Baltimore. This could be Baltimore. They could. I mean, Baltimore could be a four or five. Who knows? Yeah. I would I would throw the Ravens and maybe the Chargers into that mix. Oh yeah, all those teams are gonna be and, playoff teams. Uh, yeah, don't rule out the Broncos. I suppose don't mm-hmm. rule out the Jets and the Bills. I suppose uh-huh. the Dolphins. <laughs> you know the AFC is a lot more uh, talent wise intriguing. I guess yeah. But no one can seem to slay the dragon of Kansas City. Cincinnati no. did one year, and that was it. Yep. So, I don't know. And don't forget, don't forget my rough and tumble New England Patriots. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. I think Bill Belichick's got one last middle finger for everybody. <laughs> oh, my God. No. He's got room on his hands for more rings. All right. Let's go to the NFC before I, before I vomit. Okay. All right. You know, NFC South. I mean, this is where you know who I'm. You know who I got winning this division? NFC South. Oh my god! <laughs> you know who I got winning this division? Don't say the Dirty Birds. No, the I got Panthers? the Panthers. <laughs> no, the Bucks. <laughs> oh. The Saints? The Saints, yes. You got my Saints? I, I got no way you'd have my Saints. I got your Saints winning the division because they got a quarterback in their car. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of with you on that. Uh, I think they could be sneaky good. Yes. I don't trust Atlanta. I don't trust Tampa no. with Baker Mayfield. And then Carolina with, Bri- I think it's Bryce Petty, quarterback? Bryce Young. Oh, Bryce Young, I apologize. Not but the race car driver. Huh? Not the race car driver. I, I keep thinking that, but I think you know Carolina maybe is maybe a year away. But I yeah. think I think this is the the Saints are going to win this division. You know that. They should mop up the division, really. They should mop up the division. If not, something's wrong. Right, and I'm uh, a little fearful of the Saints because uh, there's a group of dudes I know going down to that game against the Lions in December and. We'll see. Yeah. That might be good, man. That dome might be rocking. That might be rocking. It'll be interesting because that should be interesting. Um, let's go to the oh, yeah. let's go to the NFC West. Um oh. San Francisco, Seattle. Got Matt Stafford in the news again about um obviously you probably heard that in the news, and then you have Arizona. Arizona's gonna finish last this year, even with um Oh, God. Yeah, they're going to finish last this year. They are going to be brutal. They're going to finish last <laughs> in the league. Yeah, you think so? Yes. My. Who's their quarterback? They, I mean, try, they cut Cole McCoy. I can't believe Why would you cut Cole McCoy? He was they a reliable quarterback. He's backup. They traded for Josh Dobbs. Josh Dobbs is their quarterback? Yeah, they got him like three days ago, man. Where's Kyler Murray when you need him? In the hospital still. Oh, my goodness gracious. Are you serious? We're playing video games. Oh, yeah. my goodness. And then he, and then we talked about the Rams news, obviously, with, um, you probably heard about what Matthew Stafford's, um, you know what, um. Babysitter? Yeah, I mean, Matthew Stafford, I mean, this, Matthew Stafford could be, I mean, they're a young team. I mean, yeah. they're going to be young. 
I mean, yeah, you got Cooper Cup there. You got Matt Stafford there. The line's a question mark. I mean, their defense, you know, Aaron Donald can be traded by the trade deadline. That'd be awesome if he came to Detroit. You think he would be a lion? Oh, my God. I don't know if he would do that, but, uh, boy, that would really put the cherry on top. Oh, of course. Or a receiver, man. Could use a receiver. <laughs> But when you look at this division, though, San Fran with yeah. run CMC, a Brock Purdy at quarterback. Yep. Um, we got. I don't know, though, there's some bad vibes coming from San Fran too, in my opinion. Why? Give me one move. Just, just the the whole quarterback, the whole the whole deal surrounding. Why they trade? I know they traded Trey Lance to Dallas. I know that. They traded their draft to get him, and then they let him go, what is it now, year three? Yeah. Before he even got through year three. Yeah. So that that is, uh, I don't know, the way, the way they have, if you have three quarterbacks, you have zero quarterbacks. Right. Two quarterbacks, you have zero quarterbacks. Right, I learned that. Selecting these guys, and... I don't know. They haven't. Um, they haven't panned out. They, they haven't stick to it. You know, stuck to it. So you're gonna go for Seattle winning this division. Seattle's got the I, biggest upside. I think so because I think they're young. I think their defense can. Meet. And offensively, they've got some weapons. They do, and they've got. To me, it's got to be on uh, Geno Smith to prove it. You know, he's got a lot to prove. And I don't know. I don't know. It's, that, that to me, that division, it looks tough on paper, but I can see that shaking out to being a bad division. In, in It'll be interesting to see if that division pans out. I mean, obviously, we're going to see how that division goes. Let's go to the NFC East. I mean, obviously, when you look at this division, you got the Eagles in here. You got Dallas in here. Um, you got Daniel freaking Jones in this division. And then you got the Washington yeah. Commanders. I mean. It was Sam Howell. Sam Howell's your quarterback? Yeah. Who is who is drafting these guys? I mean, Sam Austin Howell's your. Mayhew. Sam Howell's your quarterback? Martin Mayhew's drafting this. Guys. Oh my goodness yeah. gracious! I mean, like, I mean, when I heard this, when I heard he was the starting quarterback, I was going like, "What are you doing?" Yeah. I mean, Pretty last year, really. last year you had um Carson Wentz was your starting quarterback last year. Then he gets benched. Then you have like another guy, and then now you're going with Sam Howell at quarterback. I mean, Taylor Heineke was the other. Taylor guy. Heineke was. Oh my goodness gracious. He signed with Atlanta, by the way, as a backup. Oh, my Desmond goodness. Ritter. Yeah, Desmond Ritter? Oh, my goodness. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I could see the Giants taking a step back. Obviously, yeah. I don't know what the commanders are going to do. I, mean, <laughs> I guess they were in the playoff hunt for a while last year. Uh, but, yeah, I, I don't want to like Dallas, but... I can see them having a big year. They're not touching I don't Philly. Know if that results. I They're don't not know if that touching results Philly. The They're not touching Philly. Because if Dak gets hurt, then if, if Dak gets hurt, then you go, go to Trey Lance. You know what I mean? So, okay. Well, That'll work. Cooper Rush. They got somebody else. They yeah. dropped Will Greer. Oh. I mean, how do you say that? Well, if Dak gets hurt, okay, what happens if uh, Jalen Hurts is, go- is down? Really screwed. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. They got Marcus Mariota. Yeah. Is their back. Well, Marcus Mariota, I think a better quarterback, a backup quarterback in that type of offense, you know, backing up Jalen Hurts, because it's yeah. vir- there's not a lot of changeover, you know what I mean? Whereas you look at what other these teams, you know? So, yeah, I think Marcus is a little past his prime. Uh, I think he could win you a game or two. If, if Hurts goes down for a prolonged time, I, I have a hard time seeing Philly 
beating Dallas if they're if they're healthy and Dak's healthy. Yeah, that's true. Um, and I think yeah, but Philly, you know, is going to obviously be the favorite. Last year, made the Super Bowl. Um, yeah. And yeah. and then what we're going to go to is I think the toughest division in football, one of the toughest divisions, definitely going to be the NFC this year. That's the NFC North. Obviously, I didn't like what I saw from Chicago at all with them. Justin Fields, he did not look good in preseason at all. I mean, the Lions, they didn't really play their starters this um, preseason, which was a really good decision, I think, for Coach of Dan Campbell. And then Green Bay. I like that decision. I do like that decision because here's why. What if Jared Goff gets hurt? If you're a Lions fan, because then you're basically screwed. You know, yeah, you got Teddy Bridgewater there, but Jared Goff for the Lions, he's so vital to that team because obviously Ben Johnson's the offense coordinator, but Jared Goff, all he needs to do is be a game manager. He doesn't need to beat anybody. He just needs to be a great game manager. He does that. Lions won 8 out of 10 last year because Jared Goff was a great game manager. Does does it concern you uh, with the Lions, their receiving core? Besides Amara St. Brown, um, Jamison's out six weeks. Um, it does, but if Sam Laporta breaks out, maybe, maybe not. But I think that's the big question mark, obviously, is going to be for the Lions, is going to be is... How will they be first six weeks of the year without Jamison Williams? Um, the defense. I'm gonna go on record about Jamison Williams though, real quick. Yeah, go ahead. I uh, I don't I don't see it with him, man. I don't see it. He, okay. He's too small. Just okay. Straight up. He if he's a speeder, a speedster, I need him to be beefy like Tyree Kill is. Okay. He's got muscle on him. You know, he's durable. Uh, if Jamison Williams is going to get suspended for gambling and be hurt and not available ever, that's a problem. And I foresee this issue. So, therefore, I cannot trust Jamison Williams. I need to – I need if, – if I'm a Lions fan, which I am, I need this team to go out and get another receiver and preferably somebody that is 6'2 plus – and, you know. Who's you available, know. though? I don't know. That's you got to look at. They need somebody. In I mean, my mind. You got the, the running. Goes. They got the running game figured out, obviously. I like Kimir Gibbs. I like David Montgomery at running back. Um, yeah. And then, obviously, Sam Laporte. I'm curious to see how he does at tight end. And then you look at, and then you look at the rest of the division. Jordan Loves look good in Green Bay. I mean, Green Bay could be a threat this year. Green Bay can always and is always a threat. Mm hmm. I think uh, this division could be tough. If I don't know. All four teams, I can make a case all for all four teams, you know, to be, to be good. I think and, three of them can be good. I don't trust Chicago one bit. You know, that <laughs> makes me happy because I don't want Chicago to do good, but. <laughs> I'm scared. You know, I'm a Lions fan. I'm scared. <laughs> I hear you. Terrified. Yeah, I know Lions fans, you know what I mean? Because now you have expectation this year. You got to be scared. You have to it be. It should be the Lions division. It, it should, should be. be the year they win the division. It should be and the Lions here. Yeah, there's going to be the other three teams are, aside from Minnesota, Chicago Green Bay, are, they got some youth as well, you know? Minnesota, I think, got I think arguably the best player in this in this division. That's Justin Jefferson, obviously the standoff from Louisiana State. Um, I think you know, but obviously people look at Kirk Cousins and say, okay, I mean, Kirk Cousins could be a, um, you know, I think Kirk Cousins, you know, I think he's got maybe at least a couple more years left in him, you know, to have to be that type of quarterback. But when you look at this division, you know, obviously with Jordan Love. Um, I'm curious to see what he can do as a quarterback. Um, you know, with the young Green Bay team, 
Aaron Jones has been solid running back. Um, people say, you know, who knows? Could the, could could the Lions, you know, I, I mean, I see with the Lions this year, they can win at least 12, 13 games, but, you know, oh, Nelly. it's the Lions we're talking about here. I mean, this is the Lions we're talking about. True, true. Uh, but their defense you know, looks improved, especially in that secondary. And hypothetically, that should be very improved. Everyone's gone. Yeah. And they were an issue last year. They were not good. No. Uh, their linebacking core also looks to be improved. So I, that defense, if that defense takes a step up from where they finished last year, boy, you are really cooking with something there. Yeah. And I think if you look so, at it with the Lions, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're, you're definitely cooking with something. If if the Lions can at least get a, um, you know, for the Lions, I think the key this year is going to be is everybody stay healthy. Because oh. you know if J-Mo, if the Lions can go at least 5-1, and one, maybe 4-2 and two until he comes back, who knows where this team's going to be. I mean, the, I think the key for the Lions this year is can Jared Goff stay healthy and be a very good game manager. He does that, the Lions will be fine. Well, that's where they need they need, you know, four of the five offensive linemen to stay healthy and Jared Goff to be healthy. Mm-hmm. And I think they can do they can do something. I like their use of the tight end. I like their use of the running game. I like what Ben Johnson did on offense last year. They were lacking in some spots. But he, you know, was a top five offense in most categories. Yeah. If the run game's improved, and if Laporta proves to be a weapon, and, and Brock Wright and Mitchell both take a step, it could be very dangerous on offense. But it's a thin, it's a thin line, like with any team. If Pat Mahomes goes down, Kansas City could struggle to win like five games. Yes. Um, if Goff goes down, Bridge Bridgewater can probably win you a few, but you know it's not uh, the backup situation is never a, where you want to be. No, <laughs> you have a franchise, so no. And that's the key when you look at for the Lions this year. Um, any team in this division that scare you? Yeah, Green, they all do. Green Bay, Minnesota, even Chicago. Chicago scares me, but yeah, they do. I don't know why, you know, I'm not a big Fields fan, but he's got some talent, and if he can put his passing game together like Jalen Hurts has, um, I mean, Lamar still struggles in the passing game. That's why I don't see the Ravens taking the ultimate step and winning a Super Bowl. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! You think the Ravens are? You think the Ravens don't have the pieces to win a Super Bowl? I don't know. Lamar, Lamar can't throw. It is. Lamar you're lying, throw. liar. I'm not lying. You are lying he's right now on this show. He's, he's got a great arm. He makes beautiful passes, but in crunch time, decision time, big time. He makes mistakes with his aim, with his accuracy. Oh, my goodness and, gracious. And that that gets exposed heavily come playoff time. That that comment and the Patriots comment just upset me now. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, it's how I see it uh, on August 29th, man. Yeah. Well, he can prove me wrong. Yes, sir. He can prove me wrong. The Patriots can prove me wrong. Sure. The Patriots do. Sure, they can prove me wrong. I mean, obviously, when you look at the division... NFC, this is who I see making the playoffs. I see I see the Eagles, 49ers, Seahawks, Lions, Vikings, Packers, and Saints making the playoffs this year. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got one too many teams there, don't you? There's seven teams that make the playoffs, not six. Wait, how many did you just name? Four, five, seven. six, seven? You yeah. seven? Okay. Yeah. So three from the north and two from the west? Yeah. And one from the east and one from the south? Yep. That's correct. 
Wow. If Minnesota, Green Bay, and Detroit all make it, that is uh, – that sounds like a gauntlet of a division. Sure. It is. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe – I mean, the NFC is pretty weak, though, so maybe not, but – I would, I would, okay, so who do you got winning that North division then? Who well, I got winning the North. I got Detroit winning the North this year. Okay. I oh, got baby. So, yep. so week one, <laughs> what do you think? I think the Chiefs win this one, but it's going to be like a 56-53 game. Whoa, so like another L.A. Rams-Chiefs game? Jared Goff played in that game. Let's not forget that. I uh, I did not forget that. <laughs> uh, boy, I'll tell you what, that would be something if we had a shootout like that. Oh yeah, I oh, would be yeah. pretty upset though with the defense. Sure, you would be. Uh, oh, well, let's yeah. just hope the Lions don't, uh, you know, stink it up. Yep. So, any final thoughts, Ian, on the divisions coming in, starting the year? You know, I just want to say that I. I love the summer. You know, I love the summer. It's a season. Michigan, baseball, it's wonderful. Take you to our daycare center and you know it. Shut up. Yeah, of course. To be on the doorstep of football season, let me tell you. And with the offseason the Lions have had, the last time we played a game was at Lambeau in January, for the love of God, and we ended Aaron Rodgers' career in the (laughs) NFC North. Yep. I mean... I'm just, I'm really juiced, man. I'm sad to see summer go. But my final thought is, I can't wait to start talking some real football. Welcome, the boys of fall. All right, Ian Weatherspoon, thank you for joining us this week here on the pod here. All right, everybody, we're going to sign on off here. Um, Take care. God bless you. We will see you soon, everybody. Good luck this NFL season. Take care. Y'all.